It's your drama invasion here welcome back to another video and today i'm back with the update for recent dramas that aired and rumors as well as some interesting celebrity news so make sure to subscribe as always everything is listed in the description box below for you just in case you're looking for the names or titles of any specific dramas or news segments let's just jump on into it and a drama that aired this week earlier this week on the 4th is Gone with the Rain. It stars Zheng Nan and Wang Yuwen and Sun Yi Zhou. Now this is a drama that I originally kind of looked over and I thought okay it kind of looks you know like a lower quality web series so I was like not gonna watch it but then I watched the first two episodes and it's so funny. Um, give it a shot if you haven't already. It is refreshing if you're looking for something in a costume drama realm, but this is a rom-com. This is a female-centric drama about the main two female leads, and there's little screen time for the two male leads. I haven't gotten too far at all, but it's pretty entertaining. There's 37 episodes, and the run is around 40 minutes. Then we have My Chinese Chic Boutique. This is a rom-com short series. It has 24 episodes. Starring rookie actors Vivi Chen and Wang Jun Hao. This one is one of those trans migration web series where the girl or guy kind of gets sucked into a fantasy world. It airs on June 11th on Tencent Video. Also airing on June 11th is My Marvelous Fable, a 24-episode Mango TV drama starring Fei and Wei Jiming. It's an adventure romance fantasy. This is the romance between a rookie editor and a best-selling author. These dramas sound so much fun and I'm in the mood for lighter romances, so I think I'll be checking this one out. Now on to recent booting ceremonies. We have a drama announcement for Northward. This is a CCTV Aichi police procedural drama starring Bai Lu and Oh Hao. It has the same duo screenwriter and director from Ordinary Greatness, which is one of the most underrated C dramas in my opinion. But I'm looking forward to this one lots of exciting dramas in production right now another one is a costume wuxia fantasy drama starring jing tian and zhang lingha darren chen is also in this one as a prominent role as well so this is an aichi production and i can't wait to see what's coming because it looks like jing tian and zhang lingha has so many upcoming roles partnering with aichi Tencent's modern romance drama As Beautiful As You stars Seven Tan and Shu Kai, who shared their first ever stills with us as they wrapped up filming. This is a business romance drama about a woman who struggles on her road to entrepreneurship. After many years of failure, breaking up with her boyfriend, lots of sacrifices in her personal life, she ends up partnering with the male lead, Shukai, and they become friends, business partners, and eventually soulmates. Sounds really promising, has a good cast, and Seven Tan is pretty good at her modern romances. Then recently we had the Shanghai International Film Festival with loads of celebrities as well as some reunions. So one of this being Huga and Wu Lei's reunion they're both in nirvana and fire and there was an iconic photo of them back in the day where he used to carry him so they decided to recreate it and it made all the celebrities laugh and it's so funny it's nice to know that they still have a very good relationship i would love to see them in like a movie together or something after so many years such a nice reunion then we had a couple of new stills and posters. So one of them being Rising with the Wind, which stars Gong Jun, Zhang Chu Shi, Wu Xuan Yi, and Gao Zhe Ting. This is an Aichi Yi and Stellar's Pictures modern romance business drama. 
Star 48's Shansha Romance Flying Up Without Disturb, starring Li Hong Yi and Lu Tingyu. Also put out new posters and a drama called When I Fly Towards You, which stars Zhou Yi Ren and Zhang Mao Yi. This is a youth romance web drama. After that, we had some updates for popular dramas, such as My Fireworks on Earth, starring Yang Yang and Wang Chu Ren. They release a new poster as it surpasses over 1 million reservations. I feel like this will come out in July, I don't know why. Um, probably because in past years, like the most anticipated rom-com modern dramas usually come out in July. It's a good time. I hope we get to see it sooner than later. Then The Longest Promise starring Xiao Zhan and Ren Min has finally obtained the distribution license with 40 or 43 episodes total. I need a strong and happy ending, so let's just hope that that's the case for this one. I feel like most Shen Shaos these days are either open-ended or sad ending. Esther Yu Studio then released a statement to the recent rumors of her in a relationship with an older Taiwanese actor called Vanessa Wu. Her studio denied it and basically said that they actually don't even know each other. They said that they did contact the male artist um, team and they both decided nobody should really speak up because just let it go away since there's really no connection between them and they thought that it was ridiculous. But after so many people questioning and bombarding her SNS with comments and questions, they decided to put the statement out to put the rumors to rest. And speaking of rumors, let's talk about the rumored pairings for upcoming dramas. So we have The Mortal Ascension, which is a Shansha drama, which has decided on Yang Yang for sure as a male lead. But as of right now, the female lead's role is still up in the air. They're looking at more like B-rated actresses, so they want to pair him with some newer faces. So the rumors right now is Jelly Lin Yun or Chen Du Ling. It's still pretty early on though, so I'll update you guys if we get any new developments. So after wrapping up her drama with Shu Kai, Seven Tan is of course looking for scripts and dramas for her next project. And right now the rumors are that she will be in a costume drama next with Jang Bin Bin. This is great because how I found out about him was actually from costume dramas back in the day with The King's Woman and all of those dramas. So it's nice to see him go back into these dramas. I think he has a better range of emotions that he can display when he's doing costume dramas compared to modern romances where he always plays the same like cold standoffish male lead but then falls in love with the female lead eventually that type of character and that wraps it up for this video let me know your thoughts on any of the news we discussed or currently airing dramas and i'll see you guys in the next one